a Maasai elder in Kenya's Rift Valley. He is among those who remember the devastation caused by rinderpest or cattle plague, arguably the deadliest animal virus in history. In 1958, there was no vaccine, so there were great losses to the herd in the area. Although rinderpest is not known to infect humans, for many centuries it caused massive losses to livestock and wildlife, primarily in Asia and Europe, and more recently in Africa. I can remember, because during that time, where I was, a quarantine was imposed. It had an impact, because you could not even sell the animals. You could not take them anywhere else for grazing, so you were confined by that quarantine. Helping countries to fight rinderpest has been a priority for the UN Food and Agriculture Organization since its formation in 1945. There is no comparison, no possible comparison between rinderpest and other diseases. Of course, when cattle die, it is about meat, it is about milk, it is about other animal production. If you could imagine that you are an owner of a hundred animals, a milking herd, by the end of the week you would have zero. It would go so fast through the population. In Nairobi in the 1950s, Englishman Walter Plowright began working on what would become the groundbreaking rinderpest vaccine. But after decades of trying to fight a fast-moving virus that easily crossed borders and oceans, countries realized they needed to work together under one international system in order to beat the disease. In 1994, FAO launched the Global Rinderpest Eradication Program to coordinate international efforts to eliminate the disease and also to provide technical and financial support. GREP was built on close collaboration with the World Organization for Animal Health and other institutions, key organizations in every region and donors like the European Union. It has been 10 years since anyone has confirmed a case of rinderpest in Kenya or anywhere in the world. Since then, the international community has gone through an exhaustive series of checks for the virus to confirm that it has disappeared from all but a few laboratory samples worldwide. We're confident that the virus has really been removed from its, from its natural setting and we know of no uh, wild or uh, domestic reservoirs of this disease. The global eradication of rinderpest is an outstanding achievement for science, but also a major step forward in efforts to improve human lives.